Now we are going to do the mathematical analysis of generating the AM component. When I say the amplitude modulation component, what I mean is that in AM we have the various sideband, the lower sideband, the upper sideband, and then the double sideband, right? So these are the various sideband. But before you can see the various components, you need to do further mathematical simplification of the general AM wave that we generated in order to see this by using some tools from trigonometric identities specifically in compound angles in my previous tutorial we talked about um how we can um, uh, generate an am wave simply called modulation we use nonlinear devices to do our modulation and we are assuming that we have been able to transmit our message from one destination to another so how will you visualize this let's kind of write some waveform over here before we proceed with the mathematical analysis so we form of AM. We form of AM. So assuming that we have a, a vertical line like this, and then we have some the horizontal line like this. This is my amplitude, and this is time so what we want to do is that assuming i have a this um the dot line here let's do this way mm, have something like or oh, let me do this one here so in doing this i can start from here or i can start from here get here get here get here and so on and the same thing applies here get here get here get here get here and then so on so we assume that these ones are our carrier signals and it's like an envelope and this it's our message signal inside our carrier signal so this is kind of visualization that you can visualize. So at the point where the amplitude of the carrier signal, uh, the message signal, it's five, you know it's add up and you get a maximum amplitude. Why it is maybe minus five, it subtract and we get a minimum amplitude. So the carrier, the carrier signal's amplitude is being changed with respect to the change in the message signal's amplitude. And this is an AM. So take note, this is a, a, a waveform of AM. This is a, actually a waveform of AM, which is a combination of a message signal, which is M of T, and this is um, A of T. So here it will have V max or, or some people may call it A max, or whatever. And here it's what um, the here is what V mean or A mean amplitude minimum that's what you need to take note of now let's proceed with the mathematical analysis let's proceed with the mathematical analysis in my previous tutorial we were able to establish the fact that the general equation of the am wave it's equal to into brackets varying the amplitude of the carrier signal with respect to the message signal where m of t is equal to a m cos omega m of t and so on so in doing this we can simplify the general equation as s of t equal to AC out 1 plus M of T over AC cos omega CT. Now we all know that M of T is this and therefore we can substitute it into our equation. We are going to get AC into bracket 1 plus AM cos T 
Or well, cos omega t omega m t divided by a c or multiplied by cos omega c t and we were able to establish the fact that we were able to establish the fact that a m over a c is equal to modulation index which is equal to m and therefore we can represent that equation as s of t equal to a c into bracket one plus m cos omega m t or cos omega c t so let's try and expand this general equation when we are expanding the general equation we are going to get s of t equal to a c cos omega c t plus a c m cos omega m t cos omega c t this is what we have now now using the trigonometric identities which are cos a plus b i'll get them to go uh, into details the trigonometric identity with you one i want my youtube channel so keep watching and subscribe and share to others as well so cos and then the next identity is cos minus a minus b the first one it's cos a cos b minus sin a sin b the next one is also um cos a cos b plus sin a sin b so in this case when we add these two identities we are going to get this one being cancelled out we are going to get two cos a cos b to be equal to cos a plus b plus cos a minus b when you divide both sides by two we are going to get a different expression which is cos a cos b equal to one over two cos a plus b plus one over two cos a minus b this is identity that we are going to use and therefore if our a if our a is going to be equal to omega c our b is going to be equal to omega m we are using this identity to expand this side we are going to get the overall equation at s of t to be equal to ac cos omega ct plus ac m into bracket 1 over 2 cos omega c plus omega m or t plus 1 over 2 cos omega c minus omega m or t in this way we can further simplify it and we are going to get s of t to be equal to a c cos omega c t plus a c m over 2 cos omega c plus omega m t plus 1 um, a c m over 2 cos omega c minus omega m of t so now this is the overall equation of our am wave so as you see this part of the component of the am wave modulated wave is called a double band or the double side band let me let me rewrite it full the double side band this part is the upper sideband 
which is USB and then this part is a lower sideband which is LSB LSB so having gotten the main equation for the AM wave and then the various components we have this something like this what we can do is that we can then draw the phaser diagram for this now we know the various components and then we can draw a phaser diagram so let's look at how we can draw the phaser diagram now in doing the phaser diagram we have as usual x and y as is now you can see something here let's let's do it this way these are amplitude ac so this one you can trace it here and then we can trace this one here you can also trace this one here so this <clears throat> it's also our acm over two acm over two these are amplitudes and both the lower and the upper side is having the same amplitude as you can see over here so basically the am modulator signal is having three components the double sidebands the upper sideband and the lower sideband so this is the phaser diagram of am modulated wave and then you can represent here by omega omega c minus omega m here it's um our normal frequency fc which is the frequency of the carrier signal and then this is also um let's say um or you can represent by omega c and yes omega c plus omega m most of the time it best so you represent it by the various frequencies and you can see that omega instead of omega c you can see fc plus minus minus fm and then fc here and then fc sorry let me then and then fc fc plus fm so you can represent so this is a phaser diagram for am wave and this is that we have the lower sideband the double sideband and then the upper sideband all having an amplitude of acm over two and then the ac where the m is the modulation index ac is the amplitude of the carrier frequency as well so now that we understand how we'll be able to gen come out with the various components of the am modulated wave i would like to stop this tutorial here and my next tutorial we are going to analyze on how we will be able to come up with the various equations concerning the power requirements, the bandwidth, and other important parameters that we will need for um, our future calculations. So thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorials.